In the East Bay, the mayor of Berkeley says now is the time to start thinking about what comes next for Golden Gate Field. It comes ahead of the last horse race at the track this weekend. ABC 7 News reporter Anser Hassan sat down with the mayor to discuss redevelopment plans for this prized piece of waterfront property. When the last horse crosses the finish line this weekend, a new era and new opportunities will begin. Now's the time for us to imagine something different in Golden Gate Fields. Berkeley Mayor Jesse Aragin says this is a big opportunity to develop one of the most prized properties in the entire Bay Area. He says the city's last plan around Golden Gate Fields dates back to 1986, which allowed for a hotel and a composting facility. I think we can all agree that um, a composting facility is not the highest and best use of that very, very valuable real estate. So now it's 2024. We're going to take a fresh look. One third of the 140 acres are in Berkeley, two thirds in Albany. The mayor says the two cities are working on a joint redevelopment plan. Some possibilities include keeping much of it as open space, housing and commercial developments, even a hospital. But whatever they decide, there are huge obstacles ahead. Uh, we're going to have to amend our general plans to um, allow for whatever is going to be at Golden Gate Fields. In fact, let's go to the, the voters in Albany to approve whatever plan. Even if the area is rezoned, there are a number of state and regional stakeholders that will be involved in the approval process. Also, the cities don't own the land, although they do have regulatory approval over it. And then big challenges like traffic and in this case, sea level rise. All of the area that that is in Berkeley and in Albany that's lowland was all marsh and it's filled. It will liquefy in any kind of an earthquake. Robert Chasty is with the environmental group Citizens for East Bay Parks and the former mayor of Albany. He says it would require enormous amounts of diking to prepare and protect the land for housing. He adds if it gets that far, it will likely end up in court. There would be a fight over this and the environmental community would not be in favor of those kinds of development proposals and would, would resist and there'd be a, be a knockdown drag out. It would, it would just never happen. Mayor Aragin says even if everything goes according to plan, it could be five to seven years before construction even begins. In Berkeley, Ansar Hassan, ABC 7 News.